Hello and welcome to this short video tutorial for the XITech Toolkit for Revit. My name is Ian Garwood. I'm a consultant within the professional services team here at XITech and we are going to be taking a look at the BIM Query tool. Um, so the BIM Query tool is all about review of information within your project uh, and manipulation of that data. Um, the example we're going to be taking a look at today is a Revit MEP project. We're going to be looking specifically at electrical circuit information but equally this could be data within a Revit structure project or a Revit architecture project. So there are a few things that I have set up in this project for this demonstration of the BIM query tool. Uh, the first of which is a change to the circuit naming in the electrical settings. Uh, and also I have created an electrical circuit schedule uh, which shows the original uh, circuit number parameter uh, and a shared parameter circuit naming that I've created. And lastly, we have a panel schedule for DB1, uh, which also shows the same circuit naming shared parameter. I'll start by creating a few circuits, each of which will be connected to DB1. And I'm going to create a circuit for each of the rooms here. So I'm just going to speed things up a little bit. Otherwise, we'll be uh, here all day. A look at the electrical circuit schedule shows that the circuit numbering column is filled in, but the circuit number itself is incorrect. Our shared parameter circuit naming has yet to be filled in. A look at the panel schedule for DB1 shows all of the circuits, but again, the circuit naming column is yet to be filled in. The first step in using the BIM query tool in the XITech toolkit for Revit is to review the information in our project. That information can be presented by way of a list of categories. It can be shown in a list of presets. Or the information can be pulled out from schedules in our project. And here is our electrical circuit schedule created earlier. The BIM Query tool presents the information in an Excel style user interface and here we could manipulate the data by putting values in directly in the circuit naming column. But instead, I'm going to choose to export the information as an Excel spreadsheet and manipulate the data there. When we open up the Excel spreadsheet, we'll see that it carries the same information as the BIM query tool. The circuit numbering column with the circuit numbers shown incorrectly and the circuit naming column waiting to be completed. Here I'll use an Excel formula to manipulate the data and move the circuit number to the left hand side of the separator. Copying and pasting the formula into a cell you can see the results. Finally, we move the cell into the correct position alongside circuit 1 and stretch the formula down across the other circuits so the information now displays correctly. With the information displayed in the way that we want to see it, we can now bring that information back into our BIM query tool by opening the Excel spreadsheet you'll see that the circuit naming column has now been complete with the correct circuit reference. We can choose to apply that information, or we can choose to apply and close the BIM query tool at the same time. The circuit naming column is now complete with the information in the correct order on our panel schedule. On our electrical circuit schedule, the information also shows correct. Review and manipulate your project data using the BIM Query tool, either from within Revit or by utilising the link to Excel. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this useful. 